Hey guys, it's Carson and today I'm going to talk about my fall 2019 semester goals. If you guys keep up with me and what's going on with me, you'll know that I am a college student and this year is going to be my senior year. So this is my second to last semester and I have got tons of things going on. I'm taking a science class because I put it off till my last year, which if you are younger than me and you're watching this and you're a humanities major, don't do that because when senior year rolls around, you're not going to want to take a lab. doesn't matter what kind of lab it is. You're not going to want to take it. I don't want to take mine, so learn from my mistakes. But I wanted to make this quick video and let you guys know what my writing goals are for the semester. I don't know that I'm necessarily going to update you on if I completed my goals unless you guys want to see that but I sort of wanted to make this video a to hold me accountable and B to let you guys know what you'll be seeing from me for the next couple of months as I am in school and getting work done while I study and prepare for graduation and apply to graduate schools and all of the other things that I have heaped onto my plate for the next couple of months so we're going to start with the goals that I have for Valor, which is my first novel and it is currently in its second draft and I haven't touched it for about a month. So as I go into school, I will be starting to edit it again and working on the third draft and I want to be following Susan Dennard's revision plan. So goal number one is to follow Susan Dennard's revision plan steps one through four and I will leave step one linked down below but if you just google Susan Dennard revision plan you'll be able to find it online. She has them all listed out in various steps. I believe that there are six. I would like to complete steps one through four though and that's my first writing goal. The next couple of goals follow from Susan Dennard's revision plan and they sort of are the next steps in her process. First one is to reread my novel, so I would like to completely reread Valor. If you follow my channel, you know that Valor is a behemoth of a book, but I am going to reread the whole thing and hopefully reread it in one day. We'll see how that goes. I live in New England, so maybe we'll have a snowstorm and I'll get a day off and I will reread the whole thing. But it may take me two days, a weekend, a week. We'll see. I'll update you guys. I will be doing vlogs, so you'll be seeing vlogs of all of this throughout the next couple of months. The third thing that I'm going to do after following Susan Denner's revision plan, rereading my novel, I'm going to be making index cards for every scene in my novel. That is going to be a pain in the butt, but I know that's going to be helpful, so that's the next thing I want to do. After I make all of those scenes, I will be planning out what the perfect book is, in my opinion. I don't know that I would have necessarily done this step had I not been really determined to follow Susan Dennard's revision plan, but because I am, I'm planning to do it and hopefully it is useful in the end. She seems to think it is and she has published books and I don't, so we'll give it a try. And then the fifth and final goal for Valor is to replan my plot and create a new outline. When I go into the next draft, there won't be any plot holes that I haven't discovered, fingers crossed, or character issues that I don't already know need to be fixed and have a plan to fix them. Then I have two goals for my novel Might, which is the novel that I am drafting right now. If you want to go check out my NaNoWriMo videos, you will see me drafting that and also failing NaNoWriMo, if that's interesting content for you. And my first goal for Might is to finish the first draft. It's going to be a big goal, it's going to be a big book, but I think I can do it. I'm giving myself a couple months and also, fun fact, Might is a novel for a specific project that I'm doing within my university and also counts as my English honors thesis for my major, so it has to be done by the end of this semester, which means I have to get it done. So I will. This is the base of confidence. 
case you were wondering. And then my second goal for Might is to print out a copy of it. I love to have printed copies of my books. I did this for Valor on my own and I'm probably going to do it for Might through a website that will bind it for me because that's just easier to carry around and to work with. But hopefully I will get that done at the end of the semester which is in December and so it can sit during my month-long break for Christmas and the winter and when I go back to school in January I can pick it back up and start edits. And then I have three sort of miscellaneous writing goals. The first one is to write something with the characters from my I don't know what to call it, a backlist novel called I Am a Monster. I made a whole video talking about it last week, so I will leave that linked down below if you want to go watch that. Basically, I started this project while I was taking my break from YouTube. I gave up on it because the characters were amazing. Some of the ideas for the plot were amazing, but they just weren't fitting with the plot I had given them. I needed to replan it. So we're going to work with that a little bit. I want to show you that and hopefully we can find what their story is and I can start working on that as soon as I am done drafting Might. The next goal I have is to write four poems. That doesn't seem like a lot, but I want to write one a month that I think is like a good poem like I go back and I edit it and I think yeah I would read that from a book and not feel like I was wasting my money by purchasing said book that's my goal <laughs> and then the last goal that I have is to read Wonder Book by Jeff Vandermeer and I own it it's this beautiful gorgeous book I don't have with me to show you right now because it's already packed up to go to college with me but I have skimmed through it it's got these beautiful illustrations it's got letters from other people it's got just a whole bunch of writerly goodies within it so I would really love to have the time over the next couple of months to sit down and actually read that so those are my semester goals I have 10 of them and that's what you can kind of expect to be seeing from me in the next couple of months what I will be doing and what my writing should sort of center around. Hopefully I can complete all of these goals and I can set new ones for next semester. Let me know if you guys are going back to college and what kind of goals you have for basically the rest of the year, right? So until December, what writing goals do you have? I would love to know. Leave them down below. If you want to see more from me writing and reading wise, please subscribe down below. I'd love to have you here and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye!